day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed part D. We're so we're with the A, B, C, and now we're we uh, uh we did D. <laughs> and I know it was a long time we was here. Uh, but we was trying to focus on the especially when talking about Black Lives Matter and and dealing with cops and and, 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 and understanding is either you fight or you flight. I, I I told him I said there's another option, which is just just be do what Jesus did. Jesus didn't fight with the, argue with the captors. He said, who do you seek? He said, I'm me. Let these other people go. God bless you. And and they sat there and they did all kinds of things to him on, on, on the night that he was betrayed, but he only answered when he needed an answer. But he wasn't gonna sit there, especially fight with the uh, police officers and stuff. You're not, you're not getting anywhere with them. Don't plead your case with them. Some of them, are, I mean, we got good officers, we got good officers. But we got bad officers, we got bad officers. Or we got people that got a perception and said that you are unruly and they're going to do things in a violent way because they're taught to dominate the situation. And if you're sitting there and you say, no, no, I'm going to dominate back. And you get your head and you get shot and you get beat up and you get all these things. It's not going to work. Allow the system to evaluate the actions that they're doing, and you'll be amazed in the long run. Please perform with everything else. If we just submit, and I know some people say, well, no, well, the alternative is going to be you get beat up, or you get shot, you get killed, because I don't know what other option, alternatives you're going to give. We was reading here about the fact is, and my last part of the video, I was sitting there, Jesus was told his death and the resurrection. And it started at 8, Mark 8, 31. And began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes to be killed after three days rise again. Though we're not going to rise until the resurrection and when Jesus comes back, the fact is that we as disciples and when we start off, and the subject is called Vain Glory, the work of losing your soul. And we talk about the beginning of the video, is what the cost of discipleship. If you just be and operate according to his will, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about whether you die, because it's, it's glorifying God and doing the right thing. Not sitting there arguing with people who who obviously have the mind set up to hurt you. What I don't see what the point is gonna be. Let the video show them, let the video show when people do bad things that they will pay the price. It's only when we give people excuse, they don't need a little bit of excuse. And once they get that little excuse, they're gonna sit there and take it to the next level. It's not de-escalating, but escalating. Even though they're taught to de-escalate, they escalate. And I'm talking about the bad ones. The good ones do the right thing. And that's what I appreciate. And that's what we got to appreciate. The same thing about black. We can't sit there and put all blacks in the same box. We can't sit there and put all, most of the blacks in the same box. And we can't put most of the cops in the same box. There's bad cops, there's good cops. There's good black people, there's bad black people. There's good white people, there's bad white people. So don't, don't put people in a box. You do your part. You love people, you work with people. You get them to understand who you are, amen? And it's in verse 3, he spake unto him openly. And Peter took him, began to rebuke him. And when he had turned about and looked at all his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get behind me, Satan, for thou savest the things that be, thou savest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples, also he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take him across and follow me. And the next scripture says, verse 36, For what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me 
and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. What does it profit any of us if we should gain the whole world and lose our soul? What are your race? If you're a race of people, if you, let's say you're white or if you want to call it race based on color of skin, what profit you to gain the world but lose your soul? If you're black and you sit there and say, I, I want to gain the world, I want to replace those who were in Charlottesville and say, we want to be replaced, we're going to be the replacers. What, get, what profit is a man? If he should gain the whole world and lose his soul. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? You have to ask that stuff, you have to ask that question yourself. What profits us to, 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 to try to gain the whole world and lose our soul? For you. What do you want to be on top? Where you'll be on the bottom? Well, you want to sit there and be just as, you want to get on top and be the same way the people that were on top before you? If you want to sit there and, you know, there's people that sitting there trying to say, we're going to have a, this, hey, let's have, this going to be a race war. Valence does not answer anything, does not change anything. All it does is, if you plant hate, you're going to get hate. And some of us planted our children. We give a bias, you know? We sit there and say, well, these people, well, you gotta understand, people are people, regardless of whether they're red, black, yellow, or whatever. People are people, and if they don't have Christ in them, they don't, their soul is in jeopardy, and you can't sit there and base your life, just your soul, on the actions of others, because God is gonna look at you. You're gonna all go before the throne of God on your own. Verse 3, so whatso, whosoever, therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Our accomplishments of vain glory is the only thing that glorify God that matters. And that's all I want us to talk about is what glorify him because that's what makes a difference and that's what we're all about so i hope you enjoyed this video this is part d we're going to go into part e and, and and like i said we did it on the 28th of june and man we covered a lot of subjects so uh hallelujah now amen all right well you say bless and we'll see you next time all right god bless you Bye -bye. hey hey chris what what are you proposing I don't know right now. That's my whole point. Okay. I, my I, that, that is my whole point. I'm gotcha. sitting back watching everything. Is that every corrupt cop should just combust into ashes. But, yeah. <laughs> that, that's that's yeah. But here's, 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 like you say, <laughs> what, what needs to happen and what's going to happen, they're two different things because the system is still corrupt. Right. No matter what we say, no matter what we do, like you said, right now, black lives matter. All that stuff, and I think I told, I might have told some of y'all this, all that's going to be is just like that little Susan G. Coleman little pink thing they wear every year. They're going to turn that into a slogan and a hashtag. Yeah. And I'm hoping yeah. it don't turn into a slogan and a hashtag. Uh, or they're going to sit there and after a while, well, let's be nice. Let's play with them. Let's give them what they want. Let's pacify them for a little while. Because black folks, this is what they pray on with us. We're the most forgiving people on this planet. Soon enough, we gonna we gonna take we gonna we gonna let them slide again. Well, that's how I think that's why. That's why God. Play it out until it's over. Ain't that how God? That's why He can use us because we are. I mean, what did He do when they were crucifying Him on the cross? Remember, the objective is human souls. We, he's not trying to destroy white people or corrupt cops. He's actually trying to save their souls. He's really trying to save them. <laughs> and he's giving them all the opportunity that he can, and he's working through us to get it done. We've got to show the love of God. we got to show the love of God. That's our job. That's, that's what we, yes, we, we set aside for. That is what we do every time. Like yes, sir. Said, we, like I said, and I told y'all this one. Watch, read, uh, read Stephen King's short story. Re watch his movies. 
who always saves everybody in the whole movie? You, a you black said, person. You said We're the ones really that right? have to go through and account and atone for everything that happens in all those movies. Would you you want to get out, if you want to get on the good side of everything in the Stephen King movie, like the shine. What the main scat man crumble? He's the he's the he's the one to get you through everything. And then and what's that other one? The Green Mile. Yeah. I so, thought about you, that. You know you know who he was. He was Jesus walking the earth again. He was sitting there healing folks. That yeah. was that was Stephen exactly. King's mindset. And that's what he said. They kill him with their love. Him. Yes. And he sat there. Forgive them, but they know not what they do. That's all I see when they sat there and put him in that dog on thing and killed him again. He did the doing wonders and everything, and you killed him again. Yeah. Because, number one, they can't stand the true color of him when they see him. That's the one thing. Now, I don't even want to get on that one today. <laughs> because because we, we all know that one. And here's one thing. Oh, man. Some Anglican and, church, and if I so can put it up again, already said that since they changing all these statues and stuff it might be time to change the color of jesus they already said it. Yeah, heard that. They said that. but this is the problem with that it doesn't matter that jesus have a color anyway because they don't need no images of jesus right it they is. don't need no images there is but no image of God. Kills. There shouldn't no, be no images of Jesus. I agree, but that kills the whole white supremacist theory right there. It's dead. The minute they do that, they're going to blow this joker up because these white folks ain't going to stand for Oh yeah, uh, They will have to admit that they were wrong. They're going to go back to, I don't worry, the vain glory again, which is what they're trying to get. I was going to yeah. say. Yeah. It's, and you know, the thing about it is, I'm saying this, and Chris, you got to read these scriptures here for me. Is, is the fact is that Christ is the way. And I did want it, what came to me when y'all was talking though, Chris, was when you know that old statement said, What would Jesus do? When, when Jesus was confronted by the authorities, if everybody remember, Brother Jackson probably can, can tell us better. Did he, when you gave this scenario, Brother Addison, about the guy, right? There was. Yeah confronted he's still trying to talk to him when jesus was apprehended brother at uh elder johnson what did jesus say when he was being when they apprehended him and and all those things what did jesus do how did jesus act you can't well, remember i remember what did he do that that uh well when they arrested him he just went with him come out and when they talked to him, he really didn't say nothing. Come on. Until they they until they said something that God wanted them to answer. Come on. But even when they struck him, he Come still on. said, Why do you strike me? Yeah. Did I tell a lot? Yeah. You know, but he 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 still he didn't he didn't get aggressive at all. Exactly. He did, in other words, he did not tried to deal with a lot of things made silent when he went to uh the uh tea trot or, or heron he he didn't say nothing remember he kept the man kept trying to get him to talk and do all kind of miracles and stuff he didn't say nothing even when pontius Pilate was talking to him only when it was the appropriate time to say something he did not say anything right what i'm trying to say is that Take, for example, your scenario you saw in that video today. He put his hands up. What did the man tell him to do? Nothing. He told him not to move. But he really didn't even say that. Uh, you said, I thought you said that because he I'm said. I'm saying, he, he told him, he's, he kept asking. He said, don't move. Don't move. But the man really didn't move. But he put his hands up like this. Because he kept acting like he was trying to, he kept, uh, uh, he was escalating. So the guy put his hands up. I'm not doing anything. What did I do? Right. And then oh, he put the taser out, right? And then he pulled his taser out. All right. I'm just saying that, Chris, I'm not saying it's right. I am not agreeing with the police officer. 
What I'm saying is that what if the man just didn't move and just kept his mouth shut? Because the only place you really need to talk to is got judge. fumbled keeping his mouth shut. Bingo. That's what would have happened. Huh? Bingo. So, hey, you got no, the right to happen. remain silent. Bye, y'all. It would have happened because the guy, the, the officer that detained him, all he was waiting for was the rest of those cops to come and do something to this dude. My question though, if he did not move, would they even the gang banging? Because right now what they it, saw was this guy had him by his collar, right? That's yeah. what he had, right? Yeah. If he had just just stay still. But that's all he did. Once once he had him by his collar, he couldn't move because the guy wouldn't let him. I got okay. And but he you held say, him there until up. the rest of those guys came and then they pummeled that dude. They 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 hit him like like a college Look group of linebackers, <laughs> and they took that dude down. And all he could do was scream and holler. I, I guess the question I want to know is, I was uh, guys, it, this is kind of a little bit off, but it's it's, it's just something that I, I saw in my favorite science fiction show, Star Trek. When they get arrested, you know they do not. Uh, they, hey, Chris, they don't move. When they, when they get apprehended by the enemy or whatever, they, if the ship is taken over, they don't move. What they do is they wait for the right opportunity to, to you know, free themselves. Okay, when, when am I gonna get the right opportunity? When, when I, I think, have well, well, here's, here's the question, Chris. Would the opportunity come in the courtroom? Yeah, after I got 85 lumps up on my damn head, yeah, but, I live, no, so I live to get to the courtroom. Now, man, here's the question, though. No, if no, you're, no, no, if no. You're I'm dying to... before I get to that point. Yeah. I'm a question. My question is, do you think that if you don't try to plead your case with that idiot and just go, let the man apprehend you, go to the courtroom, would you have more success there than you would have trying to talk to somebody that's not interested in listening to what you have to say anyway? I understand. I fully understand what you're saying, but why do I have? All right. I mean, here's my ID. Here's my license. Here's what? It, what? Okay. Fine. I don't know. I didn't know that officer. Fine. What? I mean, I'm not gonna give you an excuse because that's what they're looking for is an excuse. I, yeah. I'm just telling you. Even the you smallest. I understand what you're saying. In my whole thing, like I told y'all, I got like I got pulled over. I think I told y'all back then when I got pulled over speed. I was doing 125. Dude sat there, pulled me over, but just because I know the rules, like I told you, I got my retired army thing in the back. I got my other sticker on the front. I hand him my driver's license and I hand him my military ID. I show him all my tokens and show him that I'm one of the good ones. Mm -hmm. I got a warrant. I got a hello, have a nice day, where you going, go down the road. All because I know the tokens to show this guy. But any other black person, like you said, if I would have been somewhere else and I'm sitting there going, put hands up here, going, why you messing with me, Mr. Officer? Get out the car. I right. don't have to. Right. Get out the car. That's what I do. In the minute, in the minute I look at him, right. he's going to go sideways. Exactly. Exactly. But no, but so no, but if why do I have to make other people pull over? A white guy, he ain't got to do that. White guy, like I said, I can show you pictures. White guy got a gun on his hip. Getting ready to shoot somebody. The cop got both his, got his hands on the side. That's the thing. People are getting tired of getting this double standard thing. And you see it so long, till like I said, people are tired of being passive about it. That's what nobody get. These, well, I, I keep telling y'all, all these kids is. that grew up together, they're yeah. going, this ain't right no more. And like I said, us, our old guys, yeah, we're going to do that. Them young kids ain't taking it. We yeah. got a different mindset. They got a different mindset. They were born, those kids were born and told that they were equal from day one. We are amendments. Them kids grew up not thinking they're amendments. That's what the problem is. I agree. Now, you, you're absolutely right, Chris. The fact is that the tactics that they are using is is incorrect and by the videos is going to win the change of behavior in the long run. All I'm trying to say is that to argue with that
person, and maybe they need to understand that too. You're arguing with the wrong person. They, they're either going to give you, either going to follow the law and give you a ticket, or they're going to let you go. Right? I mean, that's that's their right. decision. But here's my whole, well, then my question with that is maybe they got the wrong people being the office. They do. They do. I, I so think, I think so, that's so this, is, well, no, this is what those kids are protesting. Change the officers. That's really what this is about. It is. Change the tactic, change the police. Exactly. And I think, I think, but my point is that one, that's the whole point I'm trying to say. These videotapes, as long as we sit there and try to just operate with the compliance and let their tactics show out in the long run, you're going to win. That's all I'm trying to say. But their you, tactics are against the law. Huh? Their tactics. When they get into that realm, their tactics are against the law. You know, they said that when they go to for the judge, the, the first thing the judge asks is, was the person cooperative? Hey, hey, let, hey let's let the sister in, because she's been trying to say I something a, for a minute. I have a thing, because I have a thing to say, words. That's that's another way of saying I can talk too much. But when I when I don't say something, sometimes I test it that I usually get a better response. But I want to say when you're talking about changing hearts, so that's what needs to be accomplished. More influence on changing the heart through God's way, right? We're responsible to try to influence people to be saved and change people's hearts, right? Isn't that what the church's responsibility is? Or I'm, I guess my question is, all this that's going on, what is part of the solution or the responsibility of our Christian position or church position as a community? What, how does the church community, I don't get together. I mean, what is happening in, Georgia or Warren Robins as a solution to nothing. And right. I don't see anything happening. That's why I'm asking. Right. Because everybody's saying it the 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 church and this and that. So I hear him saying we need to change hearts. We need to talk about and those scriptures, by the way, when you put Black Lives Matters and then you give those scriptures to read to follow i mean that's amazing because those scriptures give a conversation those scriptures can stop the thinking process that you are you know thinking. you know what i mean those scriptures right there make some of my wrong thinking it brings to attention so i don't know those guidelines that you have i like to have that if you don't mind I said, I said, the, the, um, Brother Adams has yeah. slides. I because said, there is, this is a guideline of solutions. But how do we get this to the people? Well, you know, I mean, how do I get this to where I can make it a conversation? Because we're ignorant because we're not exposing people to the, to the word. Right. If you're saying we have to change heart, my heart can just change if you're telling me how to change it. So, <laughs> Amen. You know what I mean? I've been. Amen. So I want to. That's what I'm saying. This is some good stuff. So the good stuff needs to be poured out into the community. The church is talking about I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But you say, how many churches in this community? It's quite a few. <laughs> They're called <laughs> Alicard, independent. Mm -hmm. That, you know, I mean, how do we come together like that? You know? We are, you know the thing, but you know. We all got to remember the fact is that we got to do what the commission is. Brother Jackson said it. We are supposed to preach the gospel. And and and, and we sit there and try to do, hey, matter of fact, I want to use this scripture because Brother brother uh, Addison, I mean, uh, Brother uh, uh, Bassett, Chris, you're supposed to read these scriptures and, I, and then I think it can flow into what answering that question. Because I think they probably need to understand is what are we mindful of, all right? So, so I would like, I think Brother Bassin's supposed to read it, right? Brother Bassin, that was you, right? <laughs> I can say whatever you got, I'll read it. Where is it? 
<laughs> Give it to me. All right. Jesus foretells his death and resurrection. All right, let me move this out the way. Uh, I need to put that on the bottom. Okay, all right. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests, the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. And he spake that saying openly. And Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. All right, one second. One second, I'm sorry. I got the other, piece, other slide for you. Bring it on. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Yes, sir. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Now, Chris, the whole point of that is it says that when Peter said, he tried to rebuke Jesus. Jesus said there saying, you need to get behind me because you are mindful of the things of man than the things of God. And uh -huh. What they're saying is that if back to the police stop that Brother Addison was talking about, you're trying to tell me that if, if uh, we did the way Jesus did it, if the man said, don't move, don't move. If the man said, get out the car, get out the car. Don't argue with that joker because he is nothing. You're wasting your breath and you're wasting your time. Just comply. I don't care. Well, well, still. Yes, just comply. Just, just he, don't he move. He got pulled over. The cop asked him to, to give him his, his uh, concealed weapons permit. He reached to get it. He followed directions. And the dude shot got him in yeah, front man, of you, his, you, you, his you wife. You, and that ain't what happened. <laughs> no, he's giving you another scenario. This one, this this one happened as well. Which one, Chris? Because that one, the guy, no, this this is a whole separate story. The guy that sat there and said, "I'm sitting in there in his car. I have a I have a a, a, a carry permit." The guy said, "We gonna need you need to show it to me." The guy went to go get the permit. Yo, went to go the dog on move somewhere and the dude shot him. He asked him, you need to show me. He got moved and he shot him. That's a, that's a whole separate incident. Yeah, that's a separate incident. I didn't see that one. What happened to it? Did he get, did, what happened to the cop on oh, that Oh, the one? cop got off. Yeah. Not, not on that one, but the Chris, the one that Chris talked about. No, that's, that's the one we're talking about. about. Like I said, we, me and me and mine talking about the same one. It's two, we, the first one we talked about. Now we're talking about the guy with the concealed carry permit. The cop shot him and nothing happened to the cop. Y'all clicked up. That's all that is. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't see that one. I ain't see it clicked up past. I don't know how because it was on the news. It was on every news station. It really was. And see, here, here's another thing. Like you said, it was on every news station. And like I said, look for old jokers like me. You want to sit here and go? How long do I have to sit here? I don't been like I said, me most time y'all know me. I get fired up. Yeah. But I'm on both leaf follow the rules. Right. But at, then like I said, you keep following the rules and you keep following the rules. They keep hitting you over the head. They keep hitting you over the head. They keep hitting you over the head. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They hit me over the head. You get tired of that. You know, but but like I said, I ain't gotten for so many cheats. And what is right. it? But, but, but Chris, Sorry, what is it? I'm supposed to what? Seven times, 700 times, 700 or something? Or whatever it was. Seven yeah. times seven. The, the, other one, the majority of the ones I see is when you somebody is actually trying to, and they have their rights, right? They're saying, they're saying, why? 
They're asking the right question, brother. I said, why are you detaining me? What, what is your problem, right? My point is that we need to get a point of understanding that guy is an idiot you're talking to. Mm -hmm. 